Hello, it's Divine Honesty, and I'm back for another reading. I just did Gemini's general reading, and so I am about to do Gemini's X reading, okay? And like I said on that video, I'm not trying to read to dictate your future. I'm not a psychic. I'm a tarot reader. And what I do here is I'm able to tell stories that could align with your life, okay? Or could align with your perspective. That being said, due to this being a general reading, I'm not going to be able to connect to every Gemini or every Gemini's ex, okay? Um, so take what you can that resonate. This is an interpretive tool. This is a, in a way, a therapeutic tool, okay? Um, so... I'm reading for your ex, okay, and their overall energy. And this energy to give you is in order to give you clarity, guidance, or confirmation. Okay, so go into the reading with those three main um, perspectives. And like I said, not everything's going to resonate. So, what's the overall energy of Gemini's ex? What is the overall energy of Gemini's ex? Pick up after yourself. Hmm. The number is 34, 3, and 4. So anytime you see those numbers, it could relate to this reading. So be aware. Also, you can use this to program your mind. Every time you see 3 or 4 or 34, if that means anything for you, just remember certain aspects that did resonate and how you can go about it in your daily life. Okay? So let's see. Pick up after yourself. So basically, be aware, okay, of how you interact, how you communicate, and how you see people. Okay? Now, let's see. The blame game is over. It's time to realize that the only person who can affect you in any way is you. Within your own mind is the answer to every question and the power to accomplish anything. Take charge, be accountable, and let's do this thing. So your partner basically has the energy of understanding their part in a situation, understanding how a situation occurred and why it occurred, okay? So they're basically having, um, some of them could be having regrets or just having realizations about their self. So let's get three cards to break down that energy of your ex more farther. Okay. All right. So why is pick up after yourself here? Why is pick up after yourself here? Okay, so we have the Eight of Cups. We have, why is pick up after yourself here? The Nine of Pentacles. Now, this card also was in your general reading. Okay, so there is going to be some connections. Also, pick up after yourself. Why is pick up after yourself here? And we have the magician. The magician. Mm, okay, interesting spread. So I'm saying something, Gemini, your ex is trying to get over. They're regretting. There's a loss. There's something that didn't turn out as planned. And they think about this subconsciously. And they know that they just have to get over this. They're, they feel like it's going to take a lot to get over. But they know at the end of the day, this is the reality of the situation. Then you have Nine of Pentacles. So for these individuals, some of them are single. The Nine of Pentacles represents independence. It also can represent being fulfilled within oneself. Doing things that are going to benefit oneself. And it's paying off. And they're able to see those manifestations okay um also i'm seeing that some of them want someone like that want someone who is um independent or on their own or that's something they liked about you 
Then we have the magician. Okay, the magician represents the ability to create, the ability to know what it takes to create something, the ability and the power to be consistent in order for something to come to fruition, the ability to take different situations, different <clears throat> thoughts and different um, emotional responses and create a situation. This also can represent manipulation or it can represent um, creation, okay? So let's get a look into these cards. I always end up moving this damn camera, okay. So I'm seeing, like I said before, they are hoping, honey, the full moon was yesterday and there's a full moon in this card. So this can be recently, okay? But they are just hoping for a partner, okay? Um, this energy of the Nine of Pentacles is Earth energy towards Virgo, Capricorn. They don't have to be any of those, but that is the energy of this card. And this is who this person sees, okay? They see they're being solid, being independent, being for full. And they are trying to create that. So for some of them, they're trying to be in a relationship, create, go with someone who's independent. They want someone who's solid, independent, okay? And they're wanting to create that. And they're trying to create that or manipulate a situation or someone into becoming that independent person for them. Okay, and why is the Eight of Cups here? Why is the Eight of Cups? We have the Magician again. And it fell out. The Magician again. So they're mad that something they, they created or they tried to do didn't come to fruition. They feel like they did everything they could and it didn't come to fruition. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? We have the Knight of Swords. Hmm. Yeah, so they're definitely trying to talk to someone. They're definitely trying to talk or get the truth out. Or I can see this person coming to you trying to explain the truth or trying to get the truth, Gemini, as well. Or they're very abrasive with words and or they rush into situations without thinking clearly. Or they, they're very direct, okay? Or that's how they can see you. Okay, that's how they can see you. And then we have the magician. Why is the magician here? Why is the magician here? We have the full soul. This can be an Aries. It don't have to be. Yeah. I'm seeing they're foolishly trying to get into another relationship because they're just trying to get over the hurt they don't like being alone okay um also i'm seeing for some of them they're just taking a risk they're not thinking all the way through and this is represented by the fool someone who goes with the flow someone who's innocent also can represent a childlike or immature behavior, but also someone who's a risk taker, someone who um, goes with their own path, someone who is very courageous, okay? And I'm seeing th that that energy, energy, it's like they're trying to create something with someone. They don't wanna be happy, they don't wanna be alone, or they're attracted to the independence of this person, okay? Um, They don't like how you guys talk to one another. And for some of you, this is why you left them. Um, also, they do attract and do like stability. Um, people who are stable, people who um, pick up after them, hell. <laughs> Um, people who where they don't have to work as much emotionally or physically because you that person is already self-sufficient. And they normally go for that type of energy and they will try to manifest a relationship once those characteristics are found. 
Okay, so I'm seeing right now that's what they're doing, okay, within this energy. Now, let's get an overall perspective from the universe when it comes to this. It's what is the overall perspective from the universe when it comes to this? It's the overall perspective of the of the universe when it comes to this X. Council of Light. Divine orchestration helpers in the subtle realms. So basically, the advice is you have different higher perspectives around you that you can how you can interact or look at this person. For some of you, you just need to get over this person. You you take what you can from the experience. And you allow that to motivate you, shape you um, into the person who you are today or who you will become. Um, also, this says that some of you, you have help when it comes to getting positive feedback or um, honesty from this ex. Okay. And you do that by reaching out to your higher perspectives. When I say higher perspectives or um, a higher energy, it's basically you within the highest mental um, understanding of a situation. And a lot of people say, I don't know, I don't know what to do, I don't know. Uh, but if you had to give your daughter, your son, or anyone else the advice Based on your information, based on what you see, what would you tell yourself? That's basically your higher self. You're, you're looking at the situation objectively instead of subjectively. Okay? And you have certain guides or certain thoughts that can align, you can align to that information. Okay? You have certain ways to think, which is your counsel of light. You have certain abilities to think, okay, in different ways that normal people can't, Gemini. So you can use those thoughts to give your own self the best advice. It is good sometimes to hear it from other people to get clarity or confirmation, which gives you guidance, which gives you more energy and passion to um, act upon what you already know. And that's normal. But it's saying that if you're finding yourself stuck or I was thinking about an ex or think, or if you're thinking that did I do the right thing or anything, etc. It's saying you have the ability to create thoughts that will allow you to see it clearly than before. Okay? You have the ability. Not everybody has that ability. Okay? Also, you can basically get any, any type of information from anybody by the words you speak, Gemini. You are wordsmith. You are very charming because you are ruled by the third house, which is the house of communication and the house of um, thinking. Being a mutual sign or a mutable sign, you're able to think and communicate like other people. You're able to, you have the ability to think and communicate using different aspects of life. And you're able to also adapt and understand how other people think. Okay, this gives you that two face, that devil, devil, cool advo that devil advocate type of energy. They also give you the energy of jack of all trades because you're able to understand how someone else thinks about something. And with that understanding, you learn shit. And then you're able to learn quickly with, by other people without actually even having to do the shit. Okay? So that's what allow. And then once you do do it, you know so much. You might not be the master of one thing, but you will be a jack of all trades, knowing a lot about different shit, but not being the master of any one thing because your knowledge is so um, broad. Okay? Which to me, I would rather be a jack of all trades 
than a master of one because I'm a Sagittarius and we're very expansive as well. We're very expansive people. We like exploring. So that's why the Gemini and the Sagittarius, they're opposite of each other, but my best friend's a Gemini. So they're able to look at details in, in, a, in the intellectual types of aspects. And I look at different types of higher meanings. So it's, it's very interesting. And also Jupiter is away. We're, I'm going all into astrology. I mean, that's another, I might have to do another video for astrology just to be able to break this down more effectively for you. But basically with this reading in regards to your ex, you're able to use your mind to come up with the clarity that you need to come up with. That's basically what it's saying, okay? Use your own mind, okay? Which is your council of light. Lights is different vibrations and different perspectives and scenario that you can manifest in your head. And all that is basically, it can become overthinking. And a lot of Geminis do have the ability to overthink because they have the ability to think, okay? can be your worst enemy or it can be your hero, okay? So it's all in your perspective. And if this reading resonates, please like, share, subscribe. Thank you.